For those of you who follow my videos, this is the sump pump that I just removed from Heath's house. It's one of my last videos. And uh, now we're going to take it apart and see if we can figure out what's wrong with it. Uh, just did a quick inspection. I haven't taken anything apart yet, but it definitely looks crusty around here. And there's a lot of rust around the bottom. So we're going to try to figure out exactly where it failed. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right. First, I think we'll try to turn it on just, just for shits and giggles. So. I'm not really sure how this works, but I'm going to try tipping it over and seeing if it tries to turn on. Okay, so it's actually turning the motor, you can hear it, and it doesn't sound very healthy. Let's do that again. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's, it's just surface stuff. I thought maybe there was a hole right through the side of it. You can see there's definitely a lot of stuff flaking off here. And then we'll pull the bottom off. Oh, there is no bottom. <laughs> well, there we go. It was probably a steel bottom. And the only thing that's left is the plastic. Hey, you can see the fasteners are completely corroded away. You can hardly tell what they are anymore. There's a huge piece of plastic broken out of here. The impeller while it was still in service was uh, chewing away at the the upper housing there All right, folks, we're ready to open this up, see what's inside. Got some connectors. I'm confused about how this is held together. I think, oh, here we go. This is some sort of bladder or something. Nope, oh, that's an O-ring. How does this plastic cover come off? Like that, I guess. I don't think it's designed to come off. Oh boy. Okay, that's oil. It's probably not healthy oil. There's no water in here, so there's a, a large amount of delamination or something here. There's this material's all 
scattered throughout. Those coils are just rattling around in there. Not much holding them together. So how am I going to get this impeller or the remainder of the impeller off of the shaft? Not sure how they hold it on there, but it's on there well. Ah, it was threaded. I'm going to put this back in the vise and uh, tap on the end of that shaft. Alright, let's see what happens here. It's moving. There we go. Take it back over to the bench and slide it apart. There we go. <clears throat> There's the armature. And we can see the bearing. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up, but it's quite noisy and rough. There's a whole bunch of this stuff. inside here and now I gotta try to figure out how to get these coils out of there and I think that is gonna be tricky all right well it looks like I can get the copper out of it by just unwinding it while everything's still in there so instead of trying to saw it apart or hack it apart I'm just gonna pull the copper out Okay, that's, <clears throat> that's the OCD way to go about removing wire. Now this is a quick way to go about it. Or a quick way to go about it. If you have a bigger pair of pliers, it helps speed things up. Bolt cutters. Cut through all of the strands, spread them out to the side. There we go. I don't even know if the camera's recording. There's a quicker way to go about it.
from the copper. Let's try this again, second time. Alright guys, so after removing all the copper, I turned this thing upside down, dropped it on the floor, and this thing fell right out. So the core ended up falling right out, and uh, yeah, now it's just an empty case with a bearing and a seal on it, and this metal will all be recycled. So. I'm still not sure what all that stuff was that delaminated, but uh, both of the bearings failed in the pump, and then it uh, it just all went very bad from there. Um, obviously, the impeller, this is all that was left of the impeller, so that definitely isn't good. And we saw the bottom of the housing was all corroded away. We managed to uh, recover some copper from it. It's probably only about two pounds, but uh, yeah, that'll go in my copper recycling bin. And uh, that's the end of the video for today, and I will see you guys next time.